Yeah, what's up with y'all, man? I want to welcome you guys to a new video, man. Appreciate you guys for being here. Uh, I got a little story to tell y'all, man. So check it out. Yesterday, I just got on 2K and I was just looking at all the bills that I had. And I was like, man, I really do want to be a legend. But at the same time, that grind is crazy. And I was just saying to myself, my scoring machine is just not going to take me to legend. So I was just going through a whole bunch of builds i was creating builds and putting them in my discord if you're not in my discord link in the description but i was just going over builds and i'm like yo i don't like none of these builds i was looking at mid-range playmakers i was looking at playmaking glass cleaners i was looking at uh stretch playmakers uh playmaking stretch fours i was looking at inside outside playmakers i just was like ah. i even looked at a playmaking shot creator that had all playmaking pie a playmaking slasher that had an all playmaking pie but then i was like bro i'm really not feeling it but then i just sat back and i was like man who got some of the best builds right now so of course i looked at some of the guys that i know duke davis definitely not agent agent build is trash um but, but then i was like you know what i was looking at the little group chat i'm in i'm like i'm just looking at everybody builds like okay I like that build, okay. Ooh, Juno's made that build. Ah, Grinder made that build. It's fire. Ooh, Lamont made that build. Oh, okay. Cole made that build, and I'm like, who build would I like to use the most? And then I was like, you know what? My nigga Lamont's a demon. So then I created the build. I was like, eh, Bill might, be, might might do some. Might might be a little a little cool. So I said, you know what? since i did make a top five builds video for 2k and this was like the number one build on that list i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and create it so today i present to you guys my two-way slash and playmaker now i know what you guys are thinking why is this dude a 75 overall i'm about to play boot camp yeah that's right man this weekend saturday i will be streaming on my facebook channel with the 75 overall at the park in boot camp i'm hoping that me and my boy raunchy can win it um ken did create a new build as well so we all have 75 overall builds i believe chase has one in the tuck but i'm not sure about that but what i wanted to do in this video is show you guys how i created it how it came out and i'm actually going to show you guys badges and all that once we get out of there so if you're watching it right now man i'm gonna go ahead and put a random emoji generator on the screen put this emoji right now kobe all right just to let you guys know i have a lot of builds man if you guys want to see any of these builds right here just go ahead and put i want to see and then whatever build that you want to see and then i'll make another video creating that build but i would go inside of this and change things up but i don't need to because i know this build creation like the back of my hand so let's go ahead and launch my player builder you already know man david carter jr that's the name i'm right-handed my jersey I always go for number 15 um yes i am a big vince carter fan my last name is carter um half man half amazing huge huge fan of him since i was a young boy now check it out man the pie that i choose i choose you if you don't choose to play making a defensive pie you will not get the best of this build okay so go ahead and choose that a lot of people on this game they always say choose the agility most pie but honestly with this build right here this build is going to be called a two-way slashing playmaker that means you will be able to slash which means you're gonna need your vertical now if you guys look at these stats man 94 speed 92 acceleration 95 vertical all right you got to choose that pie if you don't choose that pie with this specific build you're already losing okay now the first thing that we're going to put up is defense a lot of people think ah oh, why are you putting up the defense first because this is what matters the most all right i got 20 defensive badges okay if i pull back on that i get 285 points remaining now the next thing you want to put up is all your shooting okay put up all your shooting you get 10 badges now your free throw your free throw ain't gotta be maxed out okay if you can't hit with an 82 free throw you're trash <laughs> all right the next thing you want to put up is your layup your driving dunk and your close shot all right now a lot of people love this build with 11 finishing badges 
but I'm one of those people that wanted to go with 10 finishing badges, okay? Now we have 76 points left. You want to make sure that you put your ball handling maxed out and your pass accuracy maxed out and your post moves up to 21, okay? Now, I have one point left that I can put into anything else, and I decided why not put that into defensive rebounding just to make myself a little bit better. Some people choose to go with close shot. Some people choose to go with block. Some people even chose to go with free throw. Now, me, honestly, I'll leave it at block, but I, I can tell you that I probably did put that in free throw. Now, close shot is definitely huge because we know close shots are broken, so it's, it's good on that note. All right, so moving on, guys, for body shape, you always want to go with a slight or a compact build on all guards. Some people do pick defined, but honestly, defined is just a little bit too big. I think that when you take your shirt off, when you become that superstar too, and you like, oh, I'm lit. I am saying shirt off. I'm doing whatever I want to do. Yeah, that's cute and everything, but you don't want to get touched. That's your main goal is to not get touched. Okay, you want to make sure that you got slithery on, and you got oily skin and that you can go ahead and get past whoever you want. Now, as far as height goes, I decided to make my player 6'5". I did want to make this player 6'6", but if I would have made him 6'6", he would have lost a lot of attributes that would have helped him on day one. For example, ball handle, it went down negative nine. If I'm 6'5", it goes to 85. If I'm 6'6", it goes to 80. That really hurts my stats and it hurts my speed, acceleration, and vertical. But 6'5", doesn't hurt it that much. It's insane how one inch taller can make you so much slower. It, it, it's just, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. But also, weight. Weight is something that you wanna make minimum, okay? Some people, they do go 178, but 178 to 175, it really doesn't matter, okay? Now, wingspan. I know a lot of people will say you should have went minimum wingspan. Uh, uh, this, this is it makes your ball handle crazy. Don't go minimum wingspan. Go to 78. The reason why I say 78, when you go to 77, you still have a 69 three point shot. When you go to 78, you still have a 69 three shot. But when you go to 78.9, your three pointer goes down one. So just keep it right here. Don't sacrifice your steals with 77. Go ahead and pick 78 because it's perfect, okay? Now, playmaking takeover is exactly what I created. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to go ahead and, and this build is complete. Now, it says, I have made my two-way slashing playmaker. I'm going to go ahead and test the build just so I can show you guys what it looks like at 95 overall and then give you guys the criteria of what it'll look like at a 99.9. So, what I did was um, 10 finishing, 10 shooting, 21 playmaking, 20 defense the reason i have 21 playmaking i'll show you guys in a moment but if you look here right as far as speed boosting i can do that as far as elite contact dunks i can do that at 95 overall not only that i am a demon on defense all right it's going to be really hard to get past me i'm going to have hall of fame badges that's going to be helping me out and i know a lot of shooters out there people that love shooting are going to say bro you can't shoot <laughs> yes i can wait, wait i just put out a jump shot video with the best jump shot in the game to me i'm definitely gonna be hitting my shots with a 69.3 plus once i get to 99.9 overall i'm in the 70s yeah it's the low 70s but i'm in the 70s i'm gonna be working i'm gonna be working my magic green and all over the place because remember i got 10 badges gold extended matter of fact you know what let's just continue i'm gonna show you what badges i'm gonna use all right now my quick draw gonna be on gold Range extender is going to be on gold. My dead eye is going to be on gold. And I'm going to put either one on green machine or one on hot zone hunter. Most likely, I'll put it on green machine. So, like, once I start greening, can't nobody stop me. Now, I know a lot of people say, bro, you don't need dead eye because you got quick draw on gold. I use dead eye just because some people are going to be jumping at me. But if I do play with this player and a lot of people say, hey, he can't shoot, I'm going to take dead eye off. And I'm just going to go Hot Zone Hunter on silver and Green Machine on silver. You know what I mean? Because I won't need both of those on gold, all right? But this is going to be my main setup, going in the wreck, playing park, all that. Finishing badges, I know what y'all thinking, man. That's right. I want to get, get my contact dunks up. You know what I'm saying? So contact finisher, fancy footwork, and slithery, all are going to be on gold. And I'm probably going to put one on Relentless 
or one on Giant Slayer. I really don't like laying up over people. Some people like laying up, but consistent finisher is probably your best bet. I don't know why, but consistent finisher got a huge buff this year, even though a lot of people might be playing people and they say, yo, how you make a very early? Oh, how you make a late? This game is trash. This game is broke. I'm telling you, man, a lot of it is consistent finisher, man. Even on bronze, it really, really works. All right. Now, uh, let's go to defense. I love this, man. This is where things are going to get crazy, bro. These, yo, I don't understand how, but I'm going, I'm going to go crazy, bro. I don't know why. Now. Uh, also, a lot of people say that this works a lot. Rim protector on bronze and chase down artists on bronze. It gives you those uh, crazy animations. But what I'm thinking, honestly, I'm thinking I could bring pick dodger down and I can probably I don't want to do defensive leader because I feel like our big should have that. Our big should always have that. I'm thinking I should go trapper on gold. Now, another thing you could possibly do is you can bring down the interceptor and the intimidator and have another badge on silver a lot of people say off ball pest is broken as you go up but pickpocket is huge now what you can do is you can go silver or you can go gold and have just silver interceptor because playing the passing lanes is a lot easier all right now this is probably the way that i'm probably going to have my badges but i may if i if i feel like i have a lot of success we're still in the ball without interceptor. This is going to be my badge right here. These are the way my badge is going to look because I know I'm going to be getting screened up top a lot. And I feel like this is it. You know what I mean? But I ain't going to lie. That look good too. That look real good. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that, man. All right. Now, as far as my playmaking badges, y'all already know the, the how it go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you already know how it go, man. Stop playing, man. You know what I'm saying? You already know how it go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You already know how it go. <laughs> <laughs> you already know how it go big bailout <laughs> you already know how it go all right all right listen i know this is this is actually cheese nobody would actually play with this you know what i mean this this is just overkill at some point but honestly what i would do is i would probably put my badges like this this is how i probably put my badges um and if i am playing a game where i feel like I'm not breaking ankles a lot. I'll take space creator all the way off and just put floor general on just so that I can have people actually hit their shots that don't normally hit their shots. They just get a nice little boost. But for the most part, I'm all about self. So these are really the badges that I'm going to be using. I know that people are saying why flashy passer. When you have flashy passer on hall of fame, and you complete a flashy pass. Not only do you get rep, but the person that you're uh, playing with, if they score, their takeover bar goes up tremendously. All right. So that's that's what I'm going to have on my player. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. But uh, I want to show you guys my actual build and what it looks like after one day of playing the wreck. I only played for seven and a half hours with this build. And I'm going to show you what his uh, attributes and uh, badges look like after one day of playing with him in the wreck. Hey, before we get up out of here, man, let me show you guys the progression on this player right now, man. So remember, I played with this player for one day. All right, one day. And this is where he can go to after one day of grinding. Seven hours. Now, remember, I didn't play any of my career games. I didn't play any, uh, what is that, NBA uh, My Player Nation games or nothing like that. I just literally just played with him in a wreck. All right. This dude can be an 88 overall after just seven hours of playing. All right. He can have 92 speed, 95 acceleration, 56 strength, 93 vertical, and 95 stamina at 88 overall after just one day of playing a game. Now, badges. I got one finishing badge with another one on the way. I got five playmaking badges with one more on the way. And I got three defensive badges with another one on the way after just playing a few rec games, y'all. Just playing a few rec games. Like, I can't, I can't make this stuff up, yo. I just can't make it up. Yeah, shooting is definitely going to take a, to a toll on me, but I'm going to get there, man. All right, with that being said, guys, I am out of here, man. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. This will be the build that I use to grind to Legend. If I don't hit Legend, it's okay. You want to know why? <laughs> because I know I'm still loved at home. But I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video, man. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you follow me on Facebook to watch my streams, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Peace.